welcome back. Thanks for coming to explore nature with me. I'm Ranger Ashley with St. Charles County Parks and today I want to talk to you guys about mammals. So what is a mammal? Well a mammal has warm blood just like us, has hair or fur, and typically gives birth to live young. We have a lot of different mammals here at our parks but probably one of my favorites is the beaver and I have him here today. Here he is, the beaver. Look how big he is, pretty big. You think you wouldn't be able to miss him, right? Well, usually he's hanging out in the lakes or streams and a lot of his body is under the water. But he has this really amazing fur that helps keep him dry and warm. And whether it's zero degrees out, one degrees out, doesn't matter. The beaver is perfectly happy in the water. So that means he does not hibernate. You'll see him all year round in our parks. He also has this magnificent tail. It's pretty hard right now, but if it was wet, it'd be really malleable and he'd be able to use it to get across streams wherever he needed to go. And where there's one beaver, there's probably more. The beavers usually keep their young with them for a few years before they're like, all right, time to go. Another thing to keep an eye out for is when you see the beaver, make sure you keep your distance because he'll use his big tail to give you a warning sign. So if you get too close, he's gonna take his big tail and go whack right on the water. And that's an indication to you that you're kind of making him feel a little uncomfortable. So maybe you should take a few steps back and let him mosey on and do his beaver thing. So while you're in the parks and you're keeping your eyes open for the beaver, some other features that you might see that says beavers around are chewed on sticks or logs. Take a look at that. That's from a beaver. So beavers are herbivores. And what that means is that they eat plants. So a beaver will eat aquatic vegetation that it finds during the warmer months. And when it's cooler out, they will chew on twigs, maybe new bark growth, any kind of woody vegetation they can find. Also, a beaver is just a big rodent. So it has these really cool big front teeth and these teeth never stop growing. So a lot of the times the beaver will chew on trees to keep his teeth nice and trimmed because if he didn't, they would keep growing and growing and growing and grow right back up into a skull. Also, he's a herbivore, so he eats those plants and his teeth are pretty flat because he's always grinding on those vegetation. So keep a lookout for our beaver friend in our parks. Make sure you respect their distance and have a wonderful time. Another amazing mammal I wanna to talk to you guys about today is the skunk. So a lot of the times the skunk is smelled before he is seen, but that's not the skunk's fault. So the skunk does not have the best eyesight. He primarily uses his little nose to get around. So a lot of the times if you or maybe your dog is sprayed, it's because you startled the skunk. Make some noise when you're walking around him and he'll probably scurry away from you. Now if you do get too close, he does have a few defense mechanisms that he'll let you know. So he'll flip up his tail and he'll stomp his little feet and that's an indication to you that you're getting a little too close for comfort for him and maybe you need to take a few steps back. He could also possibly spray you. So he has these glands at the back of his tail and they omit this nasty, foul-smelling musk. But sometimes that's not always good for our skunk friend. If he uses it on you to run away and he needed to use it later for a predator, it leaves him vulnerable because it takes some time for him to build that back up. You'll find our skunk friend on the outskirts of the forest line by the field, probably where there's permanent water around. Now he's an omnivore, which means he eats both plants and animals. So he's looking for berries, mice, bees, wasps, whatever he can find. He's also an opportunistic scavenger. So he really helps clean up our park forest floors. So be on the lookout, maybe even especially at nighttime, for our skunk friend here because he's in all of our parks. Thanks for joining me and learning about some of my favorite mammals here at our county parks. I'll see you next time.